Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be covering a great use case for Maya's cleanup tool. The tool is packed with features to help you speed up the time it takes to fix problems such as engons, double extrusions, and holes in your meshes. This year, I aim to learn some new Maya tools. It's been a long time since I looked through the documentation, and I hope to find some extra tricks I can use day to day. Today, in this tutorial, we're gonna be covering fixing double extrusions, and I hope this overview will explain this tool in enough detail so you have a good idea of how you can get this tool to work for your own scenarios. So let's go ahead and just select some of these faces. And I'm just gonna deliberately go ahead and create a problem on my mesh. So I've made a selection. Now let's just extrude these, but let's just leave them as they are, not add in any depth. So although the mesh looks okay, if we go ahead and smooth, you're gonna see that we actually have a whole bunch of extra faces. This is something which is easy to miss by accident. And of course we could manually clean this up, but let's just go ahead and clean this up with the cleanup tool with minimum effort. To get to this tool, go into object mode, hold shift and the right mouse button, and then go down to clean up. And now you're gonna see we have some options. Up the top, we're gonna see we have a couple of options. Do we want to clean up the mesh or just select the problematic geometry? For this example, we actually want to clean up but sometimes you're gonna to want to have the tool point out the issues for you to then go in manually to kind of clean them up. We know we have some double extrusions on this mesh, which we want to clean up. So what we want to do is go to the part of the tool, which has the toggle for edges with zero length. Toggle this on. And because when we extruded, we didn't give these edges any length, this is gonna allow the tool to quickly pick those up and delete them. So now with this setting toggled on, we can go ahead and click apply. And if we smooth, you can go ahead and see that the problem is gone within an instant. There's a bunch of great things we can clean up, such as non-manifold geometry. So let me just go ahead and extrude a single edge. So this part of the geometry is what's called a non-manifold face. Let's go ahead and clean this up. So turn off everything we don't need and just toggle on non-manifold geometry. Click and apply. And you can now see that this is now detached and we can delete this. Go into our original mesh. Note that this is actually gonna disconnect these verts as well. So what we actually want to do is merge these with the merge tool. Hold shift and the right mouse button. Go to merge verts, merge verts. And you should be good to continue modeling or whatever you need to do. This tool can be a massive time saver have a play around, and I think a lot of it is self-explanatory, and I have no doubt you're gonna find many use cases for it. Be sure to join the Discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers, and check out my Gumroad for access to the members-only chat and a whole bunch of assets and tools. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons, come chat with me on the Discord, and I'll see you in the next video.